Hello, welcome back to another edition of SC Classics. Um, just been working away on Nora this week. Hardly filmed anything, just pushing on trying to get the car as close to finish as possible. So, <clears throat> got lots of jobs ticked off. I made myself a snagging list, so been ticking off lots of jobs, which is good. Um, like I said, didn't film anything, which is a shame really, um, but it just takes so much time and it takes, it just makes the dog job longer. So I'll just give you a brief rundown, what I've gone through, what's been done. Um, up today, the Dizzy and the ignition kit turned up from H&H &H after uh, I spoke to, when I went to race to pick up bits for Scarlet, Scarlet they had, I asked them what they use and they said H&H &H and I'd already, I was on the fence whether to go with H&H &H and Beztech. They said H&H &H every time and they've got years of experience with rallying so it works for them. I'm sure it's going to be good enough for a road car so ordered one straight away. Um, like I say, it came this morning. So got it on the car and some other jobs. I'll show you. I'll uh, show you what I've been up to. So, engine bay, got the rock core back from the machine shop, they had machined the, the top of it, the RS logo and the Ford logo. Uh, now the problem being that when they machined it, they chipped the paint down the side of the fins. So I got it back, also when they machined it, it left some lines, some machine marks, so I wasn't happy with that. So got a sanding block on it, started off with 80s, 150s, 320s, all the way down to 600 grit, got it nice and smooth. Then scotch the full rocker cover, all the black, give it a coat of black, then got me 600 out again, sanded all the fins off, the RS logo, the Ford badge, and then lacquered the full lot so it won't corrode. So I'm quite happy with that. Finished the engine bay off, looks nice. Got the Dizzy and Coil from H&H &H today. It arrived this morning, so jumped straight on the car, got that fitted, really simple couple of wires to put connectors on, bolted straight in, brilliant. Uh, I bought that because when I went to Squires to buy bits for Scarlet, I asked them what they recommend, what they use on the rally cars, and they said it's no-brainer, H&H &H, every time. So if it's good enough for a rally car, it's certainly good enough for Nora. So ordered one straight away, got it here, can't complain. Nice quality kit, and I think it was 255 quid delivered, and it's a nice billet alloy. Dizzy, brilliant. So, got that on, new set of Bosch leads. Got a static timing set up roughly where I thought it was. And sure enough, it fired up. Now there's no throttle cable, so it's a bit of a pain to start at the minute, but basically, a couple of pumps of throttle, and all being well. making good oil pressure and sadly a Pinto engine always sounds awful in a, on an iPhone so in real life it sounds really good no tapping no smoke making brilliant oil pressure happy days and um, it's not even had a timing strobe on it yet so um, I'm gonna get it up and running get the timing strobe on it set the timing so I can do some test drives and stuff like that and then when I'm happy with the car is all buttoned up, everything's good. It'll get loaded onto a trailer, took to my mechanics for a rolling road session, and it'll set and balance all the carbs. It'll, it'll be able to do a far better job than I'll ever be able to do. So anyway, that's down the line. Uh, what else have we been on with? Like I said, mainly been working on Scarlet, but that'll be, that'll be a separate video. I'll show you what I'm up to with that. Uh, I've got the, uh, passing your seatbelt off Steve. Steve, do you know what? I know Miss Steve Bay, and that's because he used to be a draisman. I think it's called draisman. Delivering ale. Anyway, 
I don't want my Steve here, but his name's Steve. Don't know what his second name is. Known him for years. I can never remember it. But he got me a passenger seatbelt because the one we had was knackered. So that's in. All the seatbelts are done now. Um, not a lot else been done. I've only been working on it today, really. Got our four badge on. Got that off. Dave McKay up in Scotland, got another one for the front, but I'm not fit to just yet because I don't know if the front of the nose cone, the black on the nose cone is going to be getting painted again. We'll see, I'll explain when the time comes. But yeah, that's it for the update on Scarlet. I think tomorrow um, we get all the water hoses on. I need a temperature sensor, I realized today I need a temp, temp sensor for the engine, so I can't fill the coolant just yet. And I need all the hose clamps, so I'll just carry on working through my snagging list, doing a little bits and pieces and I'll probably, that'll probably be it for the week really. So it's only a really small update but it's alive, it's running, it's healthy, I'm happy. Um, I sent a video, sent a video just recording, pointing over here to the owner because he doesn't want to see the car but he's over the moon. He's not long rang me and he's, he's buzzing, can't wait to see it in person. So yeah, that's it for Scarlet really. Uh, not Scarlet, Nora. I'll uh, if I get some more work done on it tomorrow, I'll, I'll post film that. But yeah, like I say, it's been a short week for this one, but it's running, it's alive, and it's healthy, so it's all good. Just before I show you what I've done on uh, Nora, it's just another little job I've done this week for Paul Jackson at his well known Carnival Red Mexico. He wanted some. Trotted ends painting, just copy trotted ends, paint in the right colour so they look the part. And he's had his steering rack reconditioned elsewhere, and they just put a Jubilee clip sort of on the boots. Which <laughs> you'd seen me video when I'd done the Mexico and done the wire loops, like the originals. So he sent the rack down, done the wire loops, painted the spring tabs, spring clips, and proper yellow and stripped down, prepped and painted some trotted ends just so but more authentic on his car so uh, it's going to cut him in a minute anyway, back to Nora so, show you what we've been up to so underneath uh, dropped the car down dropped it to the floor put all the weight on it cracked off all the suspension mounting points you know, your spring mounts um, shock absorbers, tramp bars everything same with the front end inner tca bolts roll bar bolts everything drop the car down to the floor get some weight on it and then torque everything to spec so now it won't pinch up on the bushes and it'll sit at its its true height instead of being pinched up on the bushes that's how ford did it so that's how i do it on the front end the got the poly bushes for the roll bar they come in Couple of days ago, got them fitted. As I said, talked everything up on the front end, locked all the tabs up, split pins, everything's talked. So that's all the suspension finished now. Um, <clears throat> filled the gearbox. I think that was 2.2 liters, EP8090. Filled the diff. Can't remember what that was, but again, uh, spoke to Graham at GS. He supplied the uh, black line uh, diff and he recommended EP8090. So that's filled up. Uh, I had to swap the bolts on the front spring mounts because they was wrong. Uh, wouldn't go in the holes. Sorted that. No job done. Swap the wheel nuts. Ordered a brand new set of wheel nuts from John Brown Wheels. Got them on. Someone's just pulled up. So I'll be right back. Right back to it. Back to it. That was actually Paul Jackson picking up his steering rack and trapped with ends. So yeah, got the, the new wheel nuts on. Uh, just need the RS decals for the centre caps to finish them off. Um, if anyone's ever fitted John Brown wheels before with their wheel nuts, on the front we seem to have lots of threads. On the back, not so many. If anyone's had this issue before, could they uh, comment or you know get in touch? Really, I, I could fit long studs, but I'm not sure if it's going to be whether it actually needs them or not. I'll have to maybe take them off and measure up and see how many threads we've got. I'm not 100% happy with it. 
so it's some kind of things you'll look into yeah um what else, what else so yeah all the way unlocked on front indicators done in so the only thing left for the nose cone is obviously a number plate the headlight grills and some adjustment but there's a reason i've not finished the nose cone yet and i'll show you in a minute when i let the car down uh, underneath i think that's it from underneath i'll show you what i've been up to up top so i can't remember if the rock cover was on in the last video but anyway if it wasn't it's on looking good uh, all the coolant hoses are in new hose clamps coolant and anti-freeze in there the, doo -doo -doo, the washer bottle is in along with the pump finished off the washer pump wiring uh, piping that's all working set up the washer jet so they're in the windscreen when i first hit them they squirted the top of my toolbox up there so yeah they're all adjusted they're squirting the screen now the two fuse box covers are in uh, servo pipe and valve on the slam panel is in i just need i've ordered some hose to go from here to here and that's that finished waiting on a throttle cable that should be here early next week that is the only thing stopping me having a test drive uh, what else what else what else oh, speedo cable grommet in I need to try and make the oil pressure grommet fit because it doesn't surprise surprise need to go and see graham at gs and order the vin tag and build tag get the build tag painted get that on get a vin tag on number plates i am um, trying to sort out some dealer number plates for it i might not have them in time for the test drive so i might have to just buy some cheap number plates just so we can put some miles on it uh, interior i've not really touched the interior this week i need to pull the uh the seats back out and paint the seat frame because i've been shamed into it by uh, one of the viewers or a couple of viewers but yeah not done anything inside do, do, do. right so i did mention that i've not finished the nose going off and there's a reason for it there's also a reason it hasn't got any stripes yet and the reason is here so when i went to view the car originally we agreed on a price to do the build and that was that and then when the car got dropped off the owner pointed this out he said it's been damaged somewhere so I was working on it and damaged it can I also fix that now that wasn't part of the original price I quoted him to build the car the only paint work was painting the black around the windows of the back panel so what I'm doing is I'm building as much as I can and if there's anything left in the budget and then I will address this or I might have to just speak to the owner and say look this wasn't part of the, the deal originally part of the quote so there might be some adjustment but I'm hoping there's money left in the budget so I can rectify that there's also there's actually another one on the rear quarter but it's nowhere near as bad so it'd be quite easy to to fix that one but this one will involve buzzing it back repairing the dents painting the wing so that's why I haven't finished the nose cone yet I really want to, I want to get the, the grills on the Ford Badge on, just finish the front end, but I can't just yet. Like I say, it is running, um, the servo pipe's off and I haven't got the line for it, the battery's off and I'm running out of time today, but I did film the other day it running, just a little video, so I'll, I'll tie that in on this, it's not the best video, but I'll, uh, I'll show you that. But yeah, that's what we're up to, Nora is very close to a finished car. Next week will be its first test drive. It'll only be up and down the road here where it's quite private because there's no number plates and there's no MOT or tax. But it's fine, it'll be okay. It's just to get a feel for it, make sure everything's okay. And I'm sure there'll be some teething problems being a freshly built car. All being well, it should run and drive all right. It actually runs quite smooth. A bit of, bit of a tweak on the, on the carbs and playing with the dizzy timing and it, it ran much better so yeah that is the update for this week i'm sorry there's not much more to it i just haven't had time to be filming i just really want to push on and get the car done but there'll be a proper update next week and hopefully a video of it running and driving and that is all for this week so that's it for this week that's uh the update on nora sorry there's not much more detail to it but like I say 
spin flat out trying to get through the car, get it done. Because as you can see, I have a workshop full of cars. I can't touch them until Nora's done. So that's my plan. Wrap it off as quick as I can and uh, get back to the rest of the jobs. Because I've got this Capri in the background, which you've probably seen lots of times. This is Jason's car. Really need to crack on with that. And underneath it is a black XR2, which you'll have seen in the previous video. I need to crack on with them too. They've been here too long now. So as soon as I get Nora out of the way, I can crack on with them. And also Scarlet, not to mention Scarlet too. Lots to do and only one pair of hands. But anyway, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, you know, it all helps. It costs you nothing. Do a good deed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.